Rob and Slim Show. Twitter account. Dan. Yo. Dan, Dan, Dan. From Black hey, Law up, and Legalize and the Screws Loose Podcast. What's up, dude? Man, I'm, I'm just hanging out, man. How you guys been? Good, All right. good, good. This is just Dan by himself? Just Dan. That's awesome. Because Slim was saying he hates women. Yeah, I was just like, all, I'm right, like just, all right. I'm just we just picking. need Dan, like no more of the other two. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, bros over hoes. You know. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> See, now we can talk about all the things we, we couldn't talk, talk about, about all the guys when, when right. they were on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan, though, I wanted to ask, since we last talked, the Screws Loose podcast, that's a new one for you, right? Yeah, yeah, that's you know, it's like a kind of a side podcast uh, twice a month. Uh, me and my co-hosts talk about our mental illnesses. It's like it's kind of hard. Yeah. To, for well, for years it's been hard to talk about these things mm-hmm. openly, and now you know people are a lot more understanding. And then when you have two men of color that are also talking about their mental health problems, our community basically taught us growing up hey man it's, it's like trying to pray the gay away but we're trying to pray the crazy away. just walk it off so, walk it off pretty much right yeah exactly rub some dirt on it you'll be yeah, all right <laughs> yeah well yeah that's that's how i feel about it just in general like you said maybe the last 20 years it's changed but yeah even just growing up in like the 80s and 90s like, yeah, walk it off walk it off you'll be fine <laughs> you're a, you're yeah, a man yeah. men don't cry mm-hmm. Yes. That's yeah. That's shit. Uh, well, I, I still don't do that. <laughs> no. Cry out of your dick like a man. That's <laughs> <laughs> what um can I ask what what is your mental illness? Uh general generalized anxiety disorder and uh go through depressive states. That that kind of cycles on and off, but the anxiety is always there. And that's pretty much what my name, well, my Twitter and social media names comes from Dan on drugs. I, I wanted to ask uh, you that too the last couple of times. What, is that prescriptions you take? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take uh, benzodiazepines for anxiety. I'm supposed to be taking SSRIs too, but uh, those shits make me feel like a vegetable. What are those? And they slow my brain down. What's that? What What are they? Uh, your your Zoloft, your Prozac, oh. uh, things like that. Yeah. So yeah, no. Well, yeah, man, they suck. They make you feel like <laughs> shit, and your dick can't get hard either. So oh, I'm yeah, like, no. hey, I'd rather be crazy. Don't take those. Yeah, I'll take a little mental illness if my dick's getting <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I was wondering, like, when you when you first get diagnosed for stuff like that, is it a lot of trial and error with drugs? I think so with like those kind of drugs. Definitely, definitely, and that shit is horrible. Man, like I can just give you a rundown of the first couple of medications uh, I got prescribed. Like I go, I go in. I'm like, look, I've had anxiety my entire life. It's getting to the point where, yo, know, I'm like laid out in my living room floor in a ball, shaking and shit. Like the left side of my body, I can't feel it, and just having these major panic attacks to where I could barely leave the house. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I need to fucking see someone now. So go to the doctor. And we start start on the road of medication because at that point, when you're laying on your floor with your woman standing over you, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you're you're kind of past, yo, talk therapy might work for you. Nah, we need to do something now. Yeah. And that's, you know, Selexa. That was the first medication they gave me, made me turn into a vegetable. Then next came Zoloft, anger issues and outbursts. And I'm not, I'm an angry person, but I'm not a... Uh, an aggressive person by nature and you know, I'm cussing cops out and shit. And you know, that's the craziest thing a black man can do is yeah. cuss a cop out. Shit, I don't want to do that. I want to be, <laughs> right, I want to be right, kissing no that one. dude's ass, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yep. And then the worst of all is Seroquel. I highly recommend nobody ever fuck with that shit. That, now I tell my doctor, look, fuck all the anxiety, fuck all the depression shit. I just want to be able to sleep because I was going three, four days at a time with maybe an hour of sleep uh, in between each day. Wow. So the dude gives me this shit called Seroquel. And rather than doing, you know, any research and Googling it, I'm just like, oh, guess I'll pop one and go to sleep tonight. I slept for 20 fucking hours. <sighs> and I'm like six hours late to work. So how do you explain that to your boss? Like, yo, man, uh, 
I took some uh, psychiatric medication and, right. you know, overslept. <laughs> wow. You so, think yeah, they'd be like, take, take a month oh. off, take three months off. Never come back. <laughs> right, right. Never come Don't back. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, so, dude. yeah. It's, oh. it's, it's terrible. Wow. And do they stop working after a amount of time? Like, do you have to constantly take new dif- different ones? I don't, but uh, if you take, for the people that take them every single day, yeah, you they usually, they'll rotate you from uh, Xanax, Valium, Clonopin, and Ativan. I think those are the four. They just kind of rotate you. If you're as lucky as I am and don't have to take them every day, yeah. you're, you're, you're fine for a while. Do you think a lot of people, like, claim anxiety just to get away with shit? Like, because... I... Yes. That's what that's what I that I kind of got the gist that a lot of people did that. Yeah, and that pisses me off, man. I see it online all the time. It's like I'm ang- I'm anxious, you know, my anxiety, and you know, people just want fucking likes and reposts, retweets, yeah. and just social media attention. And then you go kind of browse through their uh, their timelines or their feeds, and you're like, really. <laughs> Because I've the gotten, like, out. I get, like, anxiety sometimes, but never on the level you explained. And uh, I remember one of my buddies said um, when he was in college, if they said they had anxiety, they were allowed to take the exams in the hallway. Like, so mm. you got your phone, <laughs> you could be Googling answers. Like, but yeah, no, I, I've, uh, that's crazy. That's crazy, dude. I'm going to try that at work. Be like, yo, dude, I got anxiety. I'm going to go work in the hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, who is the guy that the... I meant to ask you guys earlier too. Who was who was the dude that Brian dude that uh, blocked you guys? Like, what the fuck was that all about? Which one? Uh, br- uh there was oh, it's Bayo. There was Scott it's Bayo. Scott Bayo. With the F. Scott Bayo. Okay, there you go. He was like an '80s like kid star, '70s and '80s, and uh, <laughs> and our buddy um, Steve, our buddy Steve, who we've had on a bunch of times over the years. Uh, he had blocked him. So we asked Steve why he blocked him. And Steve didn't know. He had previously blocked him. Um, and all Steve knew was that he bashed a friend of his who was a kid's author. So Steve went on to defend her and saw that Scott Bayo blocked him. And so I tweeted to him because his pin tweet was um, about a judge saying he couldn't have raped somebody that had an allegation of, against him. And I was like, I don't know uh, about that letter, how credible it is, but... I know you're a cunt for blocking Steve <laughs> Coulter. And he just went at me, and, dude, it was like days of trolls. Days of trolls <laughs> coming at me. <laughs> Yo, that shit was so funny to read. My favorite was a uh, flirt rider going back and forth with them. I'm like, the only thing I'm taking away out of this is flirt rider says that Jesus says it's okay for a woman to swallow cum. I'm like, I'm cool with that. <laughs> She's the best, isn't she, bro? <laughs> it was me and her going at, like, all these trolls. And then, like, I tweeted it i just tweeted a screenshot and i at mentioned her and some other people in it and so they started attacking us and one of them was like to her like how dare you get how dare you respond and she's like i was at mentioned in this asshole like i i have every right to respond like it was ridiculous <laughs> man social media that shit can be a bitch sometimes right right it was just like yeah i gotta get through this this is another Another fucking badge of honor. Like, this is so great. But yeah, he was a right. huge, like, 80s, 70s, and 80s star. He did, um, he was on uh, Happy Days, and he was on Charles in Charge. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. yeah. That dude's old. <laughs> yeah, he's old. It's an old, popular bag of shit with old people. So... <laughs> 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 yeah Man, it's awesome though <laughs> thank you dude thank you um i was gonna ask too are we allowed to ask you dan um about your your job uh sure yeah i'm a it dude basically uh network administrator systems admin <sighs> uh just work on computers networks and servers all day it's really boring shit <sighs> In the early 2000s, I'm like, yeah, that's where all the money is. You know, before the the dot com bubble and all that shit around that time. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna get an IT, and then I got there. I'm like, wait, this is fucking IT. This shit sucks. And Are now you- we're probably like the janitors. It's like everyone, you know, your 16 year old nephew or cousin knows how to do a lot of the shit 
it took us years to learn how to do. <laughs> is it like you thought it was going to be just way better than it, than it really is? Like, are you reading off the script when people call you? Like, are you like, well, reset your router and wait three minutes? Like, is it that kind of a thing? Like, <laughs> no, I would kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, at least you're I'm, not I'm outsourced. Like one of, <laughs> I'm one of the upper the upper level dudes. Like, they you got to go through level one, two, three, and four before oh. you get to me. And once oh. you get to me. Usually, you know what the fuck you're talking about. It's yeah. Like if level one through four can't help. I've you, been okay, yelling at all the other guys, and I finally get Dan. Dan, <laughs> right. fix, fix my printer. Yeah. So <laughs> you're you're like a that's like samurai. That's like number one. They had to get through all the others to get to you. Ooh. Right. <laughs> and the the dumbest shit ever. Right. <laughs> I had to drive an hour and a half. Right. I kept telling this lady, I'm like, uh, can you please turn your computer off? Uh, just you know hold the power button just shut it down completely wait about 10 seconds turn it back on so she old lady probably about 65 years old she's like okay i did it same thing it's the same screen i'm like it can't be the same screen if you powered your computer down <laughs> i'm trying again so this goes on for like 30 minutes so then the ticket gets escalated i have to drive an hour and a half to, get to, to go her. to this lady's office and I'm like, ma'am, can you show me what you're doing? The bitch is turning the monitor on and off. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> oh, my God. And did you just, did you toggle switch the tower and everything was fine? Yes. <laughs> That's it. I was pissed off. <laughs> But you can't be mean to a 65-year-old lady. No, no. No, no. Oh, my God. Man, and the other time we had to move a uh, table. Now, this old guy, know-it-all dude, he's probably probably around the same age uh, in the graphic design. This asshole says my mouse won't go all the way to the right of my screen. Same thing. We tried to walk him through it. Nothing. So... Again, this one, this office is maybe about 20 minutes away. Drive over there. I'm like, all right, show me, show me what's going on. The asshole's dragging his mouth to the edge of his desk, and there's no more desk left. That's what I was thinking. So, like, yeah. I'm like, so I decide to be an asshole. I lift his desk up, <laughs> and I move it over about six inches. I'm like, try it now. Oh, you do that, the hand Dude. rub, like, Dude, done. I did, bro. Fixed. <laughs> Oh yeah, my man, God. my job sucks. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm sorry, bro. Oh shit, that's fucking great. That's great. What um on uh, uh Black Law and Legal Lives, I saw you guys had a couple of like amazing topics recently too. Um, oh death penalty, I saw you guys hit on that. Oh, yeah. Uh, what did you guys talk about on the death penalty? Uh, it was it was pretty much a. a what, what do we agree with? Uh, death penalty, no death penalty. I think uh, all three of us were against the death penalty. Wow. And then there was this really weird case where the drug manufacturers that are making the drugs that kill people, they're now telling these prisons, yo, you can't use our shit to kill people. So the prisons are having to find alternative ways to kill people. So I want to say it was Utah or Nevada, one of them. They... Uh, they went on the street and bought some fentanyl. And they're like, well, shit, people are dying from this all the time. So we're going to use uh, fentanyl to kill this guy. Uh, but Jesus, I forget his name. They're buying it illegally? <laughs> I I would think so, because I don't think you can just, like, yeah. randomly go buy fentanyl. Give well, me, no, give me enough yes. fentanyl to kill me. Like, that's when you go to the yeah. doctor. You're like, I want to... <laughs> I might want to die, so give me a lot of that fucking fentanyl shit. Bro. First, they grab one of the prisoners, and they're like, "All right, who was your drug dealer? We're gonna contact him." <laughs> they got some snitches. They got prison snitches, bro. Holy shit, dude, that's wild. Yeah. That's wild. Man, wow. They had four reporters there, and the reporters were supposed to be documenting this to make it uh, sound great. Like, oh, yo, fentanyl's a great. These reporters, all four of them wrote, like, scathing articles like, yo, this shit was painful to watch. Wow. Took, like, ten minutes longer than it should have. The dude was suffering. Wow. I'm like, wow. See, I don't know why they <laughs> can't they use that lethal injection shit, though. Like, that I thought was more humane than any other way. Any other way. Yeah. 
It is, it is, uh, but it's uh one one of the components in the lethal injection. It's uh, it's like one of them's getting increasingly harder to get, and uh, there's another one that they're saying uh, you know, you can't use. Wow. So I want to say it's like three. There's three different drugs for the lethal injection. Yeah. The first thing I thought though was like, how much of a savage did you have to be back in the day to be one of the guys that was like shooting the gun? Like when they when they did the when they shot, and it was like ten guys when when you got yep. shot back in the day. Like fuck, how crazy were you to be like, yo, I'm on this waiting list. If they call me, I get to shoot someone. Like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I couldn't do it. I couldn't right? do it, even if like. I think they had like 10 guys and all of them have rifles. Maybe one or two of them only have bullets. All 10 pull the trigger. Yeah, that so was how they got away with it. You don't know them. who killed them. That's how you got away with like the guilt. It's like my gun <laughs> might have not had the bullet. Yeah. But still, how sick of yeah. a motherfucker do you have to be to be like, yo, I could have killed that guy. Like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> right. Even though he was Damn. a piece of shit. Like, hey, I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah. I was going to say Slambo has. Slambo would be that guy. <laughs> Slambo has confessed to me in private. <laughs> What? Before, um, that that he has like wanted to be the guy to kill serial killers. If you're a rapist, if you're a piece of shit, if you're a scumbag, Slambo wants to cut your fucking head off. Have you? Are you? Have you never done wrong, Slambo? No, nah, nothing, not, nothing that bad. He was not sin throw the first stone. <laughs> Yo, if if Slambo does it, he has to be in Disney pink. Like that is make it that much better. <laughs> Like, yo, that pink dude just killed this motherfucker. <laughs> yo, I got wished off this uh, earth. <laughs> I do have to say though, like I, I, I think like when it comes to heinous crimes, like I think I agree with the death penalty. I, I'm only for it if it's like a only if it is a hundred percent guaranteed that yeah. motherfucker did that shit though. Like, yeah, not if it's like true. he could have did it. Somebody said he did it. I, I need proof. I need proof. like if it's on video right. or like we know that this yeah. dude is yes. doing. It has this. to be absolute. Yeah, That's yeah. where like I think a lot of the states started doing away with the death penalty because there oh, was a wrong. lot of people, innocent yeah. people or whatever, like yeah. that got it. So, man, I, I'm more I guess medieval. If it's like if someone were to kill someone in my family and it's like yo i know you did it i witnessed you do it i i don't want to hurt you i want to like this now this is gonna sound like psychopathic but yeah i want to hurt your family i, I just want to torture you guys watch uh game of thrones i was gonna ask you if you watch it i fucking love it bro i love it did you see varus yo, I, varus the guy that like cut his dick off the, that he ended up having like in his closet in a box and he just had this guy torturing him for years like that was the right. shit that made me think of that. Yeah. That's exactly what I would do. I would do like some Game of Thrones shit. I I just like torture you forever. <laughs> Slambo, what was that? Um, it was a what? Dan Carlin covered it where there were these guys. I forget what they did, what? but they were scumbags, and wait, uh, wait. they were tortured in public. Like the town oh, would just like invite everybody talking, to watch this, and they would just rip these dudes' skins off. Yeah, like that's how they would publicly about those execute. Guys in Munster, they took over the city of Munster, and they like Im implemented this like crazy like version of Christianity. Right, and then like the both the Catholics and the, the where where and what are we talking? It about? It was in Germany. Okay. Yeah, and both the, <laughs> both the Catholics and the Protestants like when? teamed up to take these guys out. When? Like, what year? What year are we talking it was about? Like, it was like the, the 15... It was like 1500. Yeah. Okay, like so that. everybody remembers but, this. But, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but, they, but just the, the, the gruesome... The thing was like they how they... Them alive. Yeah, they skinned yeah. these dudes alive in public, <laughs> like in a square, just invited people to come and like watch this and would like keep them alive while they were doing it. Like if they fell asleep, they would do some kind of shit to like yeah. make sure they were awake the entire time they were pulling their fucking skin off <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be entertaining <laughs> but why did they do it who were these guys what, what did they do they were scumbags they were oh, like yeah. basically they created this town and they were like raping children and yeah just, like, they were fuck, just it was fucked up it was today. children rape town you don't go to children <laughs> yeah. rape town. you it don't was send your kids to that rape. fucking yeah. town bro <laughs> but that kind of public execution like that's fucking crazy no, yeah, that's, I, that's what they deserve yeah, you rip their skin off your and keep them away skin. for it I like that. I, yeah. I'm kind of down with that. Like crucifixion was bad, too. Like. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus, but he came back. He Crucifixion yeah. couldn't keep him down, bro. Uh, hopefully those child molesters don't come back like three days later. <laughs> what if one of those child molesters was Jesus and they were like, fuck, we fucked up, bro. <laughs>
I think in the town that they executed them, they're still there. Like their skeletons no, they're, are still they're, in like a glass the case. Cages are oh, the cages they're are scabs. still there. Their scabs are still in town square. You can thought, still go there. I thought their skeletons were still there. <laughs> Dan, that's crazy. Dan, what did you yeah. think about the last season of Game of Thrones? Oh, I hated it, man. Really? From episode one into the finale, wow. it was terrible. So I, I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it. A, a lot of people hated really? it. Really? Yeah, I really didn't. I really didn't have a problem. Man, I, the writing—I I know the writing kind of went downhill, and I know they were freestyling after what I think it was season five or six. It was that there were but, no books to go off of, and I don't know if you saw that um, documentary. They were like really rushed for time, but I still felt that it held up. Yeah, you know what would have been dope, though, is after the Battle of uh, Winterfell, man, just end the season right there, just end the series right there, and <laughs> let everyone use their imagination. Let just be pissed off. Question marks, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. See, I don't know. I felt like I felt it was good, though, the ending. I felt like it made sense. I, I don't know. When you have a prisoner <laughs> who's locked up for treason, declaring who the king is, Yo, he was the, he was the king. He really he got he was he was the fucking shit. He should have killed her. She <laughs> had to die, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I agree. I agree with her dying, but that shit was even anticlimactic to me. I'm like, she, dude, give me give me a big death. But that was the way it had to go down. That was his one chance. I feel like he did. He did the right thing. Like I, I don't know. Oh, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I didn't have a problem with it. I feel like it went down okay. I didn't like Varys dying, though. That pissed me off. Right, right. Yeah, and that was a Tyrion. <laughs> I, I want to say he died because of Tyrion. And, you know, at the end, Tyrion's alive. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite, though? Spoiler alert. I'm sorry. What was your favorite uh, season of of the Game of Thrones? Oh, shit. Uh, favorite season would have probably been, or uh, I, I don't know what season it was, but where um, Arya went. To learn how to uh, change faces yes. and messing with the faceless dude. That was my favorite. Thing. I don't know if that was the same one, but I also liked uh, the Lord High Sparrow, whatever fucking season he went down in. Like that fucking whole, the whole dragon fire thing, whatever the fuck that was. Right, right. I think that, that might have actually been the same season. I think so. I think so. I think so. Dude. Yeah. Do you read the books, yeah, man? No, I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> like fuck words. <laughs> I flipped through them before, and it's like pages and pages of like names, and I'm like, why? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? See, I think trying to read, like, because even the beginning of the series is a little long. So trying to read the beginning, I think, would be like rough. Be right, rough. and then the names too. Like I, I wouldn't be able to pronounce the the fracky without actually hearing it, and. Uh, Khaleesi and a lot of these names. So I would have been like, yeah, fuck this book. <laughs> <laughs> these words are hard. Fuck them. They're not even real. They're not even real words. Fuck this shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like trying to read the Bible while you're drunk. Yeah, right? I was just going to say, like, <laughs> definitely Bible shit. Don't recommend definitely. it. Definitely. <laughs> uh, dude, Slambo does that. He does that every every night, I think. No, he reads <laughs> the Quran drunk. He reads Bibles. He reads all religious texts drunk. <laughs> to an audience of children <laughs> <laughs> at the public library, yep. <laughs> they have restraining orders against him, bro. We don't, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Dan, we had to wrap this up, dude, but it's been a blast. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Always great talking to you guys, man. Definitely, Thank dude. You. Where can everybody find you? I am at I am Dan on drugs everywhere. Nice. And also, like I said before, uh, Black Law and Legal Lies and Screws Loose Podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, at Black Law Podcast and at Screws Loose Pod. We're, we're there. Everywhere. Nice. Nice, dude. We will definitely talk to you again. All right, guys. We're talking to you. Peace out. Have a good Have one, Have a Dan. good one, brother. <laughs>